from the head squeeze team have done their job absolutely perfectly. All right, guys, my name's Hugh James. I'm a science communicator. And today's experiment is something you can definitely try out at home if you've got the ability to read. In fact, you don't really need the ability to read, but you'll have nothing to do with the books afterwards. So all for this that you need is a paperback book and then another paperback book. So the premise of this experiment is all about friction. And you experience friction all the time. If you're walking down the street, it's between your feet and the floor. If you're sat in an office chair, then it's between your bum and the office chair itself. If you're licking a toad, then it's between your tongue and the toad. So the frictional force on these books depends on the surface area of each book. If they're sat on top of each other, then it's this surface area here and this surface area here. And they're relatively easy to pull apart when they're just sat on top of each other. And you might hear a little bit of sound, but there's not much friction there altogether. So to increase the frictional force of these foam books, what you need to do is overleaf in every page all the way through the phone book from arcs right through to zoos. So as you go through the entire thing, you'll notice that the friction between these parts are the, is the frictional force that we're gonna be counting on to make these hard to pull apart. And even now, at the moment, there's a bit of resistance there to stop me from pulling it apart. And that's just a few pages. So if we go through the entire thing, it's gonna be almost impossible to pull apart. Here goes. So once you've overleafed all the pages throughout the phone book, at least most of them, and you've scrolled it down into the right shape, then you can get friends to, uh, to try it out for you. I haven't got any friends, but I've got the head squeeze team uh, that are here. So Declan Nemo, if you come in and give this a go, what you should find is if you try pulling those apart, it becomes really, really difficult because the friction between all of these pages adds up to a, a frictional force that's more than these guys can actually put into it. But here at Head Squeeze, we really like upscaling things. So what I thought we'd do is test this against not these two weaklings, but against the force of gravity. We've actually rigged a phone book up already for this experiment. And as you can see, we've overleafed all the pages to the phone book, right through to page 580, higher services, tools and equipment. Added spines to it so that we can have something to hang off of and a health and safety rope just in case it all goes terribly wrong. So what I'm going to do is put a sling over top of this gantry, which this gantry itself can take about a tonne's worth of force. The sling, also about a tonne, and then one of these carabiners, which can take over two tonnes worth of force. And the frictional force that can be put through this foam book, actually demonstrated by an equation, which is F equals N times mu times M times G over two. But mostly the frictional force that can go through this depends on the team that actually made it. So we're not quite sure how that's going to go. I believe in the science, I believe in the friction, so I have scientific faith in these phone books. So the phone book goes in through there and then I go in through there. And all the friction built up through this whole phone book should be able to take my weight. In fact, two phone books themselves can take over seven tons worth of force. We've got a couple of crash mats and also the last uh, bit of health and safety equipment is of course my helmet. Uh, and if I can have someone to clip me in, yeah, we shall, uh, we shall test the science on my faith. Ready? Take your time. Perfect. And the head squeeze team have done their job absolutely perfectly. Because of all the, the minuscule ridges that run along the, these bits of paper to the entire phone book, the friction adds up so much that it can hold me on here quite comfortably. In fact, for an extended period of time, so if you just throw me a blanket, I'll spend the night. Good night, guys. <sighs> if you're just hanging around as well, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel using the buttons below for all your videos on science and fact and fun.